Checking for inflammation in the anterior chamber is an important indicator for disease. A good technique to do this is a conical section. This technique relies on passing a conical beam through the aqueous and assuming that we see nothing in the aqueous which is optically clear. If we do see something, then this indicates that there might be inflammation. In order to carry out this technique, the first thing we need to do is to form the conic beam. In order to do this, we need to form a circular patch of light. Here we can see that the aperture of the slit can be widened to create a circular patch. We then decrease the height of the slit until it generates a disc diameter of 0.2 to 0.5 millimetres. Once this has been formed, and we can do this on the skin as we've seen here, we raise the whole slit lamp upwards and onto the cornea. If the observation and illumination system are lined up, we will see just one circular patch, as we have here. As we increase the angle between the observation and illumination system, we will get the conical section off the cornea on the left and the scatter off the iris on the right. The scatter will be of low contrast, so to make it more visible, we need to switch off the ambient illumination. We then move the combination upwards so that it is over the pupil itself. Once we have this, it might be very dark and we might not see anything until we focus correctly as we're doing here. We will now be able to see the conical section of the cornea and the light scatter off the lens, which is in fact the blurred conical section of the lens. The space between these two will be the optical space generated by clear aqueous. This is shown in this figure, where the light hits the cornea and forms the reflex off the cornea, and then it carries on through and strikes the border between the lens and the iris. The space in between should be optically clear, but if we have any inflammatory products, as we have here, we will see a hazy scatter due to the inflammatory products. This is known as Tyndall's effect. If in addition to this we have any inflammatory cells, there will be a discrete area of scatter as well, much brighter than the haze generated by smaller inflammatory products. And this will be due to scatter from an individual inflammatory cell. We are looking to ensure that there isn't any scatter in the space between the corneal and lens conic sections to create the haze, which tells us that the optical space is absolutely clear due to absence of inflammation. If, however, there is some haze in this area, it is an indication of inflammation. Because we want to improve the contrast of the haze, we need to make sure that the area is as dark as possible. So we need to try to avoid the iris being hit by the light. We can see that this is happening here and generating a bright area. So we need to move the whole slit lamp and tuck the reflex behind the iris so as to create a really dark space so that any scatter will be easier to observe. 